Hey guys, I'm Kayla Fournier and welcome to Zay's Crochet and Macrame. It's been a while since I've done a macrame tutorial, so today I'm going to show you how to make a macrame boho chick keychain. These keychains are great to wear on your purse or your backpack or even your keys, your wallet. These are super cute and tiny. They make great gifts as well. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more similar content to this video as well. And go ahead and comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this tutorial, if it was easy, medium, or hard, and your overall thoughts on the pattern. All right guys, let's get on into the video. For this tutorial, I will be using size two millimeter macrame cord rope. I bought this one on Amazon. You will need scissors, a comb, ruler, and a cutout piece of cardboard about five inches wide and six inches long with a one inch slit cut in the top. Keychain and turquoise beads, which I got from Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna start off by measuring and cutting our rope about three feet long for each cord. And we're gonna need a total of five cords cut out. So we have our five cords that we are ready to work with. We're going to start by taking our cardboard and our keychain and we're just going to use this as a base to hold our project so that it's easier to work with. So I'm going to slip this in right here so that we can work from there. And I'm just going to duct tape my cardboard to the floor just so that it's not slipping around, but you can easily just do this on your lap if you'd like. So we're going to take our first cord, we're going to meet the ends at the bottom and find the middle. So we're going to start off with our first knot and our most basic and necessary, which is called the lark's head knot. And this is how we're going to get our rope onto our keychain. So we're going to fold this loop over here and we're going to be pulling the two strings through the center of this loop. So pull the two ropes through and tighten it. And this is our lark's head knot. And we're going to do this for each piece of rope, attaching it onto our keychain. So I now have my five pieces of rope on my keychain hook. And they are nice and secure so that we can get ready to start doing the base of our keychain. So the only knot we're going to be working with throughout this whole tutorial is the double half hitch. So we're going to go ahead and split our yarn, sorry, our rope to find the center. So we're going to take the two center pieces here and this is what we're going to start to work with. So our right rope here is what we're going to be working on. So we're going to take the left rope and we're going to fold it over this loop and tie it over the rope and pull it on up to make a little roll on it. And we're going to get it nice and tight and we're going to go ahead and do a second one to secure it. So we just wrap the rope over, around, and pull it through. So we have one little roll loop on our rope. And that is our first double half hitch. And we're going to work these on each string going all the way across, forming 
an upside down V for our boho diamond shape. So we take our next string and we just wrap it on over the same rope that we are working with. We're going to pull it right up to where that second one is and we wrap it around and do a second one. And when you do the second loop, that's what tightens it so that it's secure into place. And we're going to just be doing this by holding the string so that it goes down in a diamond shape and not just straight across. And we're going to do this with each piece of rope going down each side. Okay, now that we are done with our left side, we're going to do the same thing going along the right side to make it even. So we're going to take this piece of rope right here and work with it going along the right side. We're going to try to make it as even as we possibly can in tightening our ropes as we go along. So do the same exact thing as we just did Take the rope to the right of it, wrap it around, pull it through the loop, and push that roll right to the top. And go ahead and do a second one to secure it. Keep doing the same thing with each rope. So we are completed with the right side. Okay, so I've now completed both sides to the top part of my diamond. And now we're going to go ahead and take the two center strings and put in our turquoise bead. So we have the ropes right in the center here. And we're going to feed our bead right through. You've got to make sure that you have a bead with a wide enough hole to fit two of these ropes through. Going to pull it all the way to the top. And once our bead is in, we're just going to continue working our diamond. So we're going to take the left string over here, the one that we're going to continue working with, and then take the rope to the right of it, and we're going to continue to do the same thing with a double half hitch. We're going to continue the double half hitch so that we can form a V-shape to complete our first diamond on our keychain. It can be kind of tricky sometimes making sure this is nice and tight and even, so sometimes you might have to be pretty finicky with it and 
you might have to take it out and try it again if it doesn't look right. It takes a lot of patience to do macrame. Once I've made it to the middle of my diamond, I'm just going to continue to do the same thing starting all the way to the right, working with the right string and doing our same stitch going back down to meet the other end and complete our first diamond on our keychain. Okay, so once I made it to the end of my diamond, I'm going to take this rope on the left and I'm going to do the double half hitch by completing this diamond here. And we're just going to tie it nice and tight. And there is our first diamond for our keychain. We're going to do the same thing to make two more diamonds for a total of three diamonds. So take this string once again, take the one to the left of it, and do the same exact thing we did for the first one. Working our way down, going even with the first diamond. Now we're going to take this string, a rope, and go along to the right. And do the same thing going along the opposite side. Once we finish the top of our diamond, we're going to take our bead once again and take the two middle ropes and put our bead through our ropes. Once our bead is in, we're going to continue doing our work to complete the first diamond. And we're going to do the same exact thing for a second, a third diamond as well. So I have all three of my diamond shapes completed. And now I'm going to do another row of double half hitches two more times along the bottom. And you're just going to pull your double half hitch knot going all the way to the top, working along the bottom of the third diamond. Making sure it's as tight and as close as it can be.
Once we've made it to the end of our left side, we're going to do the same thing along our right side. So I'm going to do the same exact thing for one more row of the double half hitches. We are now completed with all our knots and we're going to just trim our rope with our scissors right here, making it just a couple inches long. And now we're going to take our comb and we're going to fringe the bottom edges for our finishing touches. It can be pretty tedious trying to comb this out. Um, it might be easier if you use a cat's brush. Um, one of those fine brush, bristle brushes that you would use to comb your cat's hair. Those might work better than a comb like this. But even when I have trouble getting it all out with my comb, I just use my fingertips sometimes to just unravel them so it can be nice and fringy. After completing the first side, do the same thing to the second side. Now our fringe is complete, and I'm just going to cut off a little bit more. You can have your fringe be as long as you want. I'm going to make mine just about an inch long. And I'm just going to evenly trim going up, making it kind of end in like a V shape. And I'm just going to try to make it as even as I can to the other side. We're now officially complete with our Boho Chick Macrame Keychain. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If it was useful to you, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this pattern and if it was easy, medium, or hard. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more similar content and tutorials as well and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload my weekly tutorial video. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.